There we go. Sorry, I'm a grower. Resist what a thrill reference as long as possible. Okay, uh, that's where we came from, I think. We're a little high up. Did you feel that? It's like someone <laughs> walked across my grave. I sense air go everywhere. I mean, this place is saturated with it. Like what you'd expect from a mountain of dead puppets. Oh, my immediate react. I was so distracted because my first reaction was just like, Can you feel it? <laughs> oh, I heard a sound. Hello. Uh. I think you might have reflux. Oh! Oh, that's re oh, shit, that kills me. This kills the Ian. Oh my god, I'm doing no damage! <laughs> I'm upset right now. How many of these are there gonna be? No. Stop. Oh, okay. I'll fight those guys for quartz. Immediately, I'm like, okay, <laughs> send ten more in. Uh. Uh. No one gonna shoot me in the middle of doing this? Is this just a precarious level to make it hard for you to run away from that guy? Because he has a projectile and he would knock you off if you tried to run. That feels like an anti-run-past-me mechanic. Because so, cause so much of Souls games can be bypassed by you just running past everybody. Not you again. This level really is like, don't get too excited about new enemies. I can copy-paste, copy, 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 copy it, shit. I meant to say, that sentence had the cadence of control C, control V, but I said copy. So, replacing copy, control with copy makes the sentence copy, 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 paste. <laughs> Which is a disaster. It remains rude that they started giving everyone guns. I'm but a simple man. Can't go that way. Nope. Oh, I, I, I bumped him with the roll. Oh! Oh! I hate this weapon. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Acid abrasive. Check out my new skincare routine. Don't want to get accused of having straight guy ass. So said Pistris 3. I don't think I've found all of these. I think I missed one or either the first or second one. I, Adriana, recorded for the one? It might be one, Adriana? I hate Roman numerals that you can't tell are definitely Roman numerals because they are just letters, too. <laughs> Recorder for the brothers and sisters, praise priestess, one of the one who will swallow even God. Oh well. Listen, my brothers and sisters, I, priestess, I'm just gonna power through the fact that I am not, I don't think that's right, pronunciation-wise, shall tell you about true eternal life. An angel's gift was something humans dare not enjoy. Many humans died with hope in their hearts, and the ones who lived harbored rage instead of death. Eventually, humans destroyed and burned their hopes on their own. This is how the angel became the god torn to death. But today, they are definitely though there are definitely those who survived with a blessing. They, the immortal ones, 
still walk around and wish for the resurrection of God. I clearly told the truth I witnessed. Now you shall all follow this path. The angel became the god torn to shreds. It's a bit of a trade-off. Hey, you're god now. You're also there, and over there, and over there, and over there, and on my shoes, and on the ceiling, coating the walls. But we're not going back there. All right. Oh, we can afford it in a, bit, in a moment. Simon Manus's confession. A father is like God to his son. Even I, Simon, was no different in my youth. But the one who created me was no normal human, and my abilities were extraordinary. You're a failure too. The ability to read minds. Being abandoned in front of God meant the world's destruction. From then on, my life existed to make a world without lies. A world where no one betrays you, and there's only truth, even if it's forced. Now, the finale is here. Once the door is open, it can't be closed. For humankind, I, Simon, gave up being human, and decided to walk the path of immortality and the truth. My body will be broken and reformed as the god that was torn apart. I leave this record in my last moments as a human. Simon Pistris Manus. Okay, so the guy I've seen a few times isn't going to be himself anymore. He's definitely the next boss fight. He's probably right up there. That's probably the boss. That was, yeah, it's the boss. That's the boss arena. <laughs> Some subtle clues in the in the level design. Listen, after after decades of video game experience, I've got a sneaking intuition what I might be walking into here. Oh god. Let's spend the quartz first. Do. Nah, I don't. I totally did switch to this shield arm and then have have just continued to not use it. Damn it! Would have been good to have that practiced before the boss fight. All right. Well, this might be my last quartz ever. Hmm. I keep wondering how much it'll hold. This game. I just keep shoving more and more things into my pea organ. Capacity is incredible. Legion Magazine, don't care. Ergo, that's a grinding mechanic. I already have one of them, but I shouldn't get another one. That's the one I already have. Uh, increase the possession limit of consumables, throwing objects. Increased effective. I don't have any duration based things I use. Death mechanic. Fable catalyst. Shop prices. Uh. There's almost nothing I care about in this entire tree, unfortunately. Possession limit of consumables might even be reasonable, but that, the problem is that I have to grind. If I if I need consumables that bad, my worry is that I'll run out of them. That's not possession limit. That's just having to buy. Oh, I have two quarts. Oh, the wrong objects. I have gold fruit, the gold for and tea. Partially charges Fable when using Pulse Cells. Okay, healing gives me Fable, and I can I now have 10 heals, so that's actually pretty good. That's a pretty good one. And now I've increased number of grindstone uses, so now I can grind stone at least twice. Now the question is just where do I put my next one? Increased duration of stagger status? I don't care about stagger status that much. Because I seem to be able to always finish my attack. Don't care about gold coins. Don't e literally don't even use cubes. Don't use. I could technically use a belt slot. Legion arm slots. Cube uses again. Guard regain when receiving damage. 
This is the best survivability upgrade, but I'm never going to afford four quartzes, but whatever. Might as well just start it. Just in case. I could be wrong. Damage received when dodging. Enhanced resistance is... Just... I have all these already. Automatically charges pulse cells when they are discharged. But only one, I assume? Attribute status ailments. Special status ailments. I might as well get some resistance to some of these things that are really bad for me. That's just a universal upgrade, right? Special versus attribute, though. Let me double check. Which one of them is the one that is cured by this guy? Attribute status. Okay, I want to get a resistance to attribute status ailments. Those are like fire and lightning, I think. That one scares me more. Enhance attribute status ailment resistance. There we go. Why not? I'm never going to get all four of these, right? Maybe. Whoop. Level up. I need 15994. About as accurate as that's going to get. Activity has to be at a cat. Uh, my numbers are so nice and around right now. 30, 20, 25, 40. I could get some technique because it'll, it'll scale better with other things, maybe. But at least for now, motivity and technique give me the same amount, but maybe it'll sometimes give me more? It doesn't tell me right now. So I can't tell yet. Alright. Is it time to suffer? It's probably time to suffer. Arch Abbey Cradle of the Gods. Both of those words have an extra E I don't expect them to have. I think. I'm going to die. For hours, probably. That summon spot taunting me. Oh, this arena's big. Um. Garonk, is that you? Is this the Malekith fight? Okay, now it's different. Now it's... The name of the werewolf man I forgot the name of. From Bloodborne is what I what's his name? Fuck. Oh well. Is it not magnificent? Distilled immortality and a key that opens a world with no lies. A key that unlocks true evolution. Give thanks. There goes a gift from me, Simon Monis, who will transgress even God. Bow down to your God, who will be born.
Yeah, it's moving. Oh, he's big. He's definitely going to grow another arm, isn't he? And keep changing in different phases. Really? It's going to explode. I've played a video game. Oh, is that going to persist? Ow. 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 Ah! I think it goes really far. away from the wall. I don't want to play at the wall. This is rude. No. Yeah. Witness me as I grasp the power of a true god. Ooh, <laughs> that's upsetting. Why is it so penisy? Why is it so penisy? What? I. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've never seen a <laughs> blood flow into a dick in high def in a mainstream video game, but here we are. <laughs> This guy's a real dickhead. Man, this fight didn't even put up the pretense of not being a phase one. Oh god, energy. Nope. Woo! Whoop! Not disruption, uh... It's very bad. gonna happen. Oop. Ah, I'm too slow. Ah!
Big hand! Why am I too slow every time? I see it coming. Ah! It's like deceptively fast. Ah! I just need to block more if I'm so bad at parrying. Ah! What's happening? My attention's very split between whatever the fuck's happening on the screen right now. God, oh, God. No, I can't see. Ah! This is confused. This fight's confusing. Okay. Come back here, dick. It's very rude. I was right here. Ah! Ah! I don't know how I feel about the fact that there's just like a whole second other thing happening the whole fight. That's really confusing. Ah! I'm so fucked. These like chase me from behind or something? Yeah. <sighs> that was a rough time. Okay. I need to block more because I, I keep trying to parry and they're so good at making misleading animations that look like they're gonna go slower or faster than they actually do. Like, I, I see every big horizontal swing coming, none of them surprise me, and I literally never get it right. I'm like, jeez. It does seem like having my healing... Having my healing upgrade give me, uh... <clears throat> my bad. Giving me Fable was, like, a pretty good upgrade to get at this point, because... Oh, God. <laughs> I seem to have a lot of Fable that fight. That's what I've been missing out on this whole time? That upgrade seems to give you a lot of fable over the course of a boss fight. Well. Well, that's not the overhead. God damn it. I'm so bad at registering what an attack is based on its telegraph somehow. I feel like everyone else is better at this than I am. Ah. What's he doing? That's the, oh god damn it! I'm doing worse this fight. I'm just doing worse this time. All right. I want to get stuck on a wall. That one? But it wasn't the charge up one. Really? I feel like he has more variety this time and that he only did one combo most of the time last. What is this? Okay, he does- he is doing new things this time. I'm not crazy. I don't- I don't remember him ever stabbing the thing into the ground last time and not doing the explosion. What? Where were all these moves last time? Okay, maybe phase one is harder than I thought it was if he has way more moves than he just was doing last time. I don't want to fight at the wall. You're gonna get me stuck. I'm doing terrible.
I didn't block that? I'm so confused by myself in this game. I don't know how I'm this bad. Ah. His body really shields whether or not he's even doing attacks or just like stumbling and getting up. How did, oh, that didn't land. Damn. Ah! That was supposed to be a phase ending hit. Damn it. All right, well, I did fucking horrible. That was really bad. That was so bad. Nice guy, that. Oh, weird hand. How did I miss these attacks? No. Uh, big ball? Big ball! Oh, this is new. That didn't happen before. Ah! That missed! Oh god. Oh! I didn't know that happened. That sucks. Another off screen attack. So he summons an energy ball that shoots all the things, which is. I knew that part because it happened earlier, but I didn't know that happened then. So I didn't know to run. I didn't know what he was. what the gesture he was currently doing meant. That was a way worse phase one and a way better phase two, I guess. Oh, wow. Incredible misses on his part. Extend my weapon. Ow.
misjudging distances is so brutal when that big attacks whiffed earlier. Ah! The way that he looks like he's going to do a swing and then just doesn't, and then after he doesn't, then just does a completely different swing instead. I'm like, what? Oh god, it's already in the- oh, it's already in the state! That doesn't matter. Anything would kill him at this point. Literally a pointless white state. Is he opening with this deck? Okay, so it's not even like phase based. I thought there was more timing to it or something. That's bad. Nah, uh, I got him in the blue state. And it's wasted because of all the shit I have to run from now. I probably won't even stagger him. I didn't block that? What else am I doing? <laughs> Oh god, that might kill me. Oh god, I know this is coming. Where am I? Where is it? Where am I? There it is. <gasps> How is this going this well? There has there's a phase three, isn't there? I don't trust this at all. What? So, it comes to this. The Blue Fairy, Sophia, decides the winner. Truly, I envy you. The puppet, my Sophia, keeps turning back time to save. Is it her sense of duty? Or her contempt for me? Or does she truly care for you? I gave up predicting Sophia's actions long ago. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. Sophia, what have you done to her? That was her wish. Sophia was always wise beyond her years. Knowing the truth of people's minds is a curse. I would not have been able to bear it if it weren't for Sophia. Her pure heart was a tonic for my pain. That's why I wanted her. I did, but I couldn't have her in the end. So I tried to use this hour to hold her, even if these hands never could. It's fine if I'm gone, but be warned. Watch out for Gilberto. That's, that's the really hard boss? Holy shit, how much did they nerf him? <laughs> that was three attempts, right? I think once the real bosses started showing up, like a few hours into the game, I think they consistently took four to five attempts. And so I was like freaked out about, I was worried about this big bad fight that was coming that was supposed to take me all, all day and I beat it so fast. <laughs> 
What? Huh. If I sound confused, it's because at lunch, uh, Toaster fought that guy for like seven hours, I think. While using summons and so on. Him. He really scared me. A human becoming a god? Terrifying. But a puppet becoming a human? Now you have my attention. Suit yourself, but it sounds fun to me. I wonder, what'll happen now? I sure don't know. But I do know one thing. You're stuck with me. And I'm stuck with you, pal. Wouldn't have it any other way. He was another weird fight in that he has, once again, the move sets in these boss fights are getting so big that, like, every attempt is different. Because they'll just do completely different attacks. I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like more recent Souls likes the enemy boss, the boss fight move sets getting too diverse. Pedo, you're doing me a concern. Okay, the next level of technique gives me one pow one attack instead of two or three two or three. I was hoping that like oh motivity oh motivity also increases it by one. It's repaired, it's not something like that. They both increase it by one? I guess I'm at 40, so it's past the threshold. I guess technique makes more sense to level then, because it could scale with other weapons if I ever had to change for some reason, which, you know, technically in the cards if I get really stuck, I guess. But if that happened, I'd probably... F I think I can respec anyway, so... I don't know, man. Whatever. <laughs> My stats are all pretty finished. But yeah, like, in, in fights like Melania... And, Ma and to some extent Malaketh in Elden Ring. I'm starting to feel like these very agile characters, they don't necessarily have to be agile, but characters that have massive move sets and the difficulty of each attack is so varied. Uh, boss fights that have too many moves, I feel like they can just RNG to have different entire fights as a result. Like my first attempt against that guy, his phase one seemed to only have two combos. It's like, oh, this is hilarious. This is the most obvious phase one I've ever seen. He cl this clearly can't be the real fight. But then I, then after losing to phase two, phase one second attempt had different moves. And I'm like, wait, these are way worse in some of these cases. <laughs> Where were these last time? Uh, in a case, and in a case like, uh, like uh, Melania, where if you're stuck on it for days, when you finally do win, it doesn't feel like you earned it entirely because it will be inevitably that they RNG'd into just doing a, not doing the worst combos you were struggling with the most, most likely. So you didn't just master the things the boss normally does, the way you, like a Zelda fight works or early Souls games fight works. It's just you mastered some moves and then they happen to only do those ones. And they might have been the ones you weren't having trouble with to begin with. Blah, 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 blah. Hi. Are we ready to bring the whole daddy issues game full circle? Why do I feel like you've tricked me into going to the Chalice Dungeons again? It's the last place I ever want to be. I knew you could do it. We have all the ingredients we need. I dreamed of this day for so long. The moment you'd come back to life. You can be human again. By using that vast supply of Ergo and the Arm of God. I just need the final ingredient. The one that holds your memories and your lifespan. Your heart. If you give me your heart, all these trials and tribulations will be over. You have been a brilliant and a good boy. As a reward, I shall turn you into a real boy. Give me your heart, son. I've been a good boy. You were a good boy, but you insist on breaking my heart. 
Well, I suppose Carlo was mischievous. It seems you inherited his personality instead of his memories. But a father always looks after his children. Even naughty ones that must be punished, like you. In my own way, I grew to love you. After all, you're the puppet who would bring my son back to life. I'm disappointed in you. But I defeated the I souls like father. For this to happen. I believed you were a good boy. If you refuse, then I'll have to retrieve it myself. I don't like that. Ew, shoelace back. Shoelace back, no. Uh oh. Become a real human. He said it was a good boy? Uh. Heal for the first time now. <laughs> oh! Second time. Oh, he has healing. Hey, attacks. Oh, he's getting faster. Uh. What the f- Oh, he has so many moves! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> okay. I thought the fight was almost over. <laughs> is him healing a phase change or something? Like, damn. He's not done. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Good. I love guessing the timing of red attacks. I'm gonna die now. Aha. Wah! Maybe 
No, that should have hit. Come on, man. Woo, that was close. Ah! Let me heal, let me heal, heal. No, I lost white state. That's not fair. I earned that. Fuck. You. Wait, first try? Am I good at video games? Going to destroy Carlos heart. How the fuck did you react in time to that? <laughs> oh god, with the shield arm, there's no chest left. The shield I never used a single time during a real fight. <laughs> I thought I was gonna make it my move, my my playstyle, and then I just forgot it existed during every fight. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. Well, I was really settling in for a really grueling boss fight night, and I'm already done. Huh. <laughs> it's not how I thought tonight was going to go. So for me, Romeo was the hardest boss in the entire game, followed by Elizabeth, or what was her name? Shit. She has a hard name to remember, the completed one. And those two were the only hard bosses in the whole game, basically, I think. I think I beat everyone else in three to five attempts. It's so good to see you. I'm so startled. I was expecting to sit here and spend four hours not successfully beating a boss and edit that down to something usable later, then come back later and beat him, then come back on another day and, and fight the final boss. I was not expecting to finish the game in less than an hour today. <laughs> what? <laughs> that That's very surprising. Huh. Balancing is wild. I've, like, one thing is that, like... 
there are 500 playstyles. So how do you balance for all of them? Both styles of playing the game and styles of building your character and weapon types. This was a continued experience. It's like, when, like people who are better at Sekiro than me were just better at Sekiro than me. They just beat all these other bosses faster than me. But everyone else that said that they struggled against this or that boss in Elden Ring, they then, like, they, they struggled against this or that boss that I defeated easily, and then they easily defeated the bosses that I struggled against. Like, there was a an asymmetry to the experience of Elden Ring because everyone's build and play styles were so different that, like, what people found challenging would be confusing. Uh... So I don't know if it's like my style specifically or how much it was nerfed or changed since or what, but whoa, <laughs> that was a, that was wild. <laughs> That's absolutely wild that it took me three attempts and then one attempt. That's specifically weird because I've beaten almost, I've beaten no one on my first attempt, really, besides mini bosses. Like all the guy, all the times you fight some guy. I'm a human with a health bar. I wear an animal mask. I beat all those guys in my first try. Uh, and some of the gimmicky ones, like that weird lady that multiplies, like min uh, things that are obviously mini bosses. I usually beat on my first try, maybe two. But from the beginning, when they were like, "Here's the lightning boss. Here's the fire boss," I was like, "Damn, this game's got hands." Because immediately, I when once I encountered what was obviously a real fight. I took four attempts, and at the in the first attempt or two, I was like, "Oh God, am I in trouble? Is this game actually going to be really hard?" And then it would kind of like I would kind of like overcome and get used to it, and it felt really satisfying. To uh, that first lightning boss against the police guy was really satisfying. It felt really good that I'd clearly mastered the fight when I beat it. I don't feel like I mastered these last two fights the way that I had to overcome the the complete guy, complete lady fight. But I didn't have too much trouble with green with the green goop monster. I hear that's supposed to be hard. Uh, so for me, the hardest fight in the entire game was Romeo, by a, a mile. That one, like, was demoralizing me how hard it was. That happened a little bit again with Complete, but Complete, I looked back and I beat her in 90 minutes. Over the over the spread of two days. That's just not so bad. This isn't French anymore. <laughs> Included on the song change. Well, this game was fun. I'm not in it for it being hard for the sake of being hard. Like, I'm fine with not having a huge problem and beating bosses in like five attempts. That's like a, a healthy amount of attempts before I start like getting depressed. <laughs> for me, the thing is just like I like Souls games for being. Not wasting my time, having cool level design, having enemies that are based around the level design, having uh, bosses that reward you for paying attention and learning and, you know, adapting. If they can have something cause that sort of learning curve over the course of, like, uh, half an hour, that's fine. Oh yeah, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. The second Black Rabbit Brotherhood was harder than uh was harder than the last two fights by a mile. Laxacia. Yes, yeah, so the finest the hardest boss fights in the game for me were Romeo, then Laxacia, then the second Black Brotherhood fight. That one was hell. <laughs> that was so much RNG and overwhelming stuff happening at once and multitasking. In some ways, it was really cool and interesting, and in other ways, it was everything that everyone has ever complained about, about Dark Souls 2 and its supposedly unfair multi-enemy boss fights. Because multi-enemy boss fights in Dark Souls 2 are, are either uh, 
a giant mob of generic enemies that are super easy. Like the skeletons, in which case, so anyone complaining about that fight's just kind of dumb. Like, it's just, it's supposed to be a wacky, room full of enemies fight. I don't understand why you'd complain about those. And the other one is, like, the Throne Watcher and Defender, or the, the Sentinels earlier on, where there's, like, two or three enemies at once. And for the most part, those fights are relatively low variable enemies that have only a handful of things they're going to throw at you. Like, n most of those fights are not even as complex as Orgstein and Smo, so people confusing about them, uh, people complaining about them always felt strange to me. Because they're they're manageable, they're not very crazy fights. But, uh, the Black Brotherhood Phase 2, or second version of the fight, was sincerely overwhelming. It was so many enemies that could just interfere and overlap with their wildly different attack styles. There's a pace where one of them goes into a state, and they loop through that. But that does not actually determine who is going to be fighting you at a given moment. And uh, in the, even in that case, I felt like I had to get lucky a bit. That one was pretty, that was a rough fight. Yeah, I'm unlike many like uh, try hard Souls fans. I'm here for the fun. I just think that the it's a fun genre, and I like that it respects you and encourages you to think about it and problem solve and observe and pay attention. That's part of why I was unhappy with this game in the last quarter, because I think the last quarter or so of it kind of sucks to the point where I wish they just would give up on having levels and just do the fights, just just the boss fights to at me back to back, because uh, the lead up to the third to last boss and then the gap between the third to last and second to last bosses is almost entirely just bad content. It's just a boring level full of the same three enemies repeating over and over again for like two or three hours overall. And it's just like, this doesn't have to be here. It's okay. The game, the game, when it, when the, when the town split in half, that was like the end of the game having content. And it might as well have just been a boss rush after that because almost everything past that that wasn't just story or bosses felt like a waste of time. The exception being that big battlements location. That was cool. That, that that just that that like war front was a cool visual. So basically that entire like weird dream desert you sell your boat to. Like that part was cool, but then once you get to the castle, the rest of the game sucks, and except for the boss fights. I have a final report on the Crod experiment. You certainly took your time, Paracelsus. Your findings? I think we have a new brother. A new type of humanity, so to speak. There are many forms of eternal life. It's intriguing, and worth further observation. Noted. And... Um, we'll have to get his arm back anyway. I'm counting on it. Expect another report at the next meeting. Paracelsus returning. Ah, and when I return, I will find her. For sure. Another key of ours. Dorothy. What? <laughs> Lies of D. <laughs> Lies of D's nuts. All right. If you start the next playthrough, you won't be able to continue the current playthrough. You lose collectibles, accept records, crot supply boxes, civilian collections. You won't be able to continue the current playthrough. What is con what is controlling? What it what was what it? You won't be able to continue the playthrough. What does that mean? What, how would you otherwise control continue the playthrough? It doesn't give you the option to like. Go back into the world, man, and hang out. So that's, that's what the show of choice should be. Start a new game or go back. Right? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Let's enter New Game Plus for no reason. So this is a little interesting because like, there's been a trend towards the idea that... The great writer Carlo Collodi. So it was Carlo. I take it that Carlo 
was the writer of Pinocchio, and they named the character after him as a nod. <gasps> I am born a pup now. Would you like to reset the P-Organ? Don't see why. <laughs> this was always here, but they just, they just able swinging your weapon. That's how they stop you. I'm not really planning on looping. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. But I have some thoughts that the game stops talking. Oh, there's the lantern. But anyway, uh, there's been a... <clears throat> Find something that might help. There's been a recent uh, trend towards... Uh, Pinocchio narratives, seemingly, where... Uh, Pinocchio is there explicitly to replace a dead son. I think originally Pinocchio wasn't that. Like, Pinocchio was just... A boy Geppetto made up, as opposed to being explicitly a direct replacement for a dead child. Do I not have a weapon? I just haven't, don't, have equip, don't have one equipped. But this one has a somewhat interesting twist in that, like, the takeaway of what we were able to piece together by the end of how, uh, ego, no, shit. Ergo works. <laughs> I'm blanking today, apparently. The takeaway of how Ergo works is that it is created of human souls. Stop talking, I'm trying to podcast. Being really rude to me. So since we know that it's made of real people, that means that if you make a puppet that's meant to be repl uh, the reincarnation of a dead child, it might actually be that child? Because <laughs> said child is dead and becomes ergo and fuels the puppet. Which means that for the f first time in one of these narratives, potentially, I think, or at least it's not usually what the, the story is, uh, it does seem like Geppetto can, in fact, bring back their child via Pinocchio. I don't think that's usually the case. But he was kind of on the right path at the end there. Like, technically possible at least. Doesn't this go to one of the secret rooms, but it's just closed at this point? It's weird being back here at this in this point. Uh, this requires a key, right? I miss, I miss, I haven't heard anything about this game having it, but I don't, I don't know the opposite necessarily either, but. It would be cool if more Souls likes did the Dark Souls 2 thing where New Game Plus was actually a different video game, to some extent. One of my favorite things about Dark Souls 2 is that if you like Dark Souls 2, guess what? You get four of it to play. You get Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 2 New Game Plus, Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, and Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin New Game Plus, all of which have different enemy placements, different item placements, different puzzles, different surprises, new enemies, variations of old enemies, that really fucked up uh, fight where there's two pursuers <laughs> in the same fight that only happens in the throne room in New Game Plus. Absolutely unhinged. Like, Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin is so obviously different right out the gate that you get to the tutorial area, and the tutorial area immediately has a bunch of, uh, petrified dudes that you can unfreeze with the fragrant branch of, uh, fragrant branch of your... Is that what it's called? Do I remember what it's called still? It's been, like, a decade. Jeez. Wait, yeah, 2014. It has been a decade. Oh, God. 
I'm old. Uh huh. I remember the like last year or so, I think, I was gonna do like a 10 year anniversary thing where I replayed all of the Dark Souls games, but I was gonna do a modded version of each game. Which I might still do, just for funsies. Because those are still playthroughs I haven't done of games. I would like to try out the various Dark Souls mods and so on. But on that on that perspective, it's a good thing Dark Souls 2 has four variations for you to play. Cause uh they sure as fuck haven't made modded campaigns of it. <laughs> They've made all these big, interesting, modded campaigns of every other Souls game, I think, where it's like, check out this fan version of the campaign with all these new bosses, and I th I think Dark Souls 2 hasn't had that. And that might be because it's just not very moddable, or it might be because the audience, the uh, fandom of Dark Souls has decided Dark Souls 2 is bad because they're dumb. Or both. But as far as I know, there's no full campaign conversion crazy new m thing to play in for... Dark Souls 2, and that makes me sad. That would play the fuck out of that. Wow. I remember when I thought of this guy as the first mini-boss. Anyway, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really have a health bar, does he? It's just, he was just bigger, and he was intimidating, and I was new to the combat. Figure I should just get to a bonfire and spend my souls, but I think we're I think we're gonna be done with this game. I don't think I'm planning on looping into New Game Plus for another playthrough, at least not yet. I've got modded Dark Souls playthroughs to get to one day. I've got Thymesia to get to, and a few other Souls likes I haven't touched yet. And uh, I've got. Even other types of video games that aren't Souls likes. Imagine. But this has been a good run. I had, I had a good time with this game. I'm sad that it kind of deflates and gets lame in the last quarter, but that's honestly the most Souls like thing you could be. Because from the get go, so that's how that's how a Dark Souls do be. Well, okay, why? Why is Technique increased my damage by two now? It was increasing my damage by one before. They both increase it by two? It must just be like a scaling meter that it just was like a little too far from hitting it before. I'm not used to the different status. The fact that they were both one and now they're both two is weird. I guess, I guess it was just like at a decimal point. I guess that makes sense technically. It just makes it a little confusing. I, I haven't uh, like peeled back the math ever and I don't want to. I'm just saying that like in uh I'm used to the idea of like getting used to like, oh, this this stat always increases your attack by four, and this stat always increases your attack by two, and then you kind of hit a. Sometimes you have a threshold where it's alternating between like three and four over and over again or something. But increasing one of the other stats doesn't usually affect that in the other games. Required ergo fifteen nine nine seven again, isn't that what it was last time? Like, that's weird. Uh, 1,000, 3,000, this is... 3,300, that's not enough, I just have to do the big one. Yeah, that's almost perfect math, I don't know, don't know why I was worried. And that's gonna be it. Do I even have other wish stones? Spectre attracts enemies' attention for set, but that's equipped right now. I guess that was oh, the only one I have is why it's equipped. I never, I never summoned a single time in the entire game. But yeah, that was Liza P. It's pretty, it's pretty fucking good. It is easily and obviously the best Souls like ever made. I don't know what it. What was its competition? Uh, some people like the Purge too. I think they're wrong, but whatever. That's fine. Not the Purge. Surge too. I think I, I could not get into the Surge. Uh, Neo was tedious because they filled it with pointless grinding Diablo mechanics so that, inher that instantly makes it the worst game. Uh, so the previous crown holder for best souls like I believe that it isn't made by From Software because that doesn't count uh, was Salt and Sanctuary. Speaking of which, I haven't played the sequel yet. 
Sal sal in s s salvation? What's it called? Fuck, I need to maintain my list of Souls likes I haven't gotten to. Uh, I need to get to the second Jedi game, the second Neo game, the second Salt and Sanctuary game, Thymesia, Dark Souls 1 mods, Dark Souls 3 mods, and then at some point Belden Ring DLC comes out. In fact, it's rumored to have maybe come out before the series is over, but I don't know if that's the case or not. Anyway, see you guys next time. I don't know why I'm killing so much time at the end of this episode. I guess I'm just not emotionally prepared for the idea that I'm done. <laughs> I was too busy gilding myself for a much longer day. And now I'm going to go back to writing a script, I think. Because I don't know what to play right now at all. Uh, yeah, unusual state. I have actually uh, cleared my entire... Uh, is only relevant to me right now in this moment and won't be relevant when the video's out anymore, but I've cleared my entire slate, except for uh, the games I'm playing with Toaster. My entire solo slate across the, across the entire schedule, I finished all of them. That's it. I literally have to pick a new game to, pit, to play because I don't have anything currently on the schedule. All right. Freedom. Freedom.